Welcome, folks. I want to talk about chaining and single leakage clustering just as a way to motivate some fancier versions of hierarchical clustering. So in single linkage clustering, you add in the short edges and then add in longer and longer edges and you track, track the number of clusters as you go. And you can encode all this in uh, what's called a dendrogram as we, as we saw in the last video. Okay. So in practice, folks actually don't like single cl linkage clustering so much. And let me try to draw an example of why. So I'm, I'm going to draw a data set in blue. And uh, here we go. All right, All right. so here's my data set. Let me edit it a little bit. All right. So how many clusters do you see here? I think most people would probably say that they see three large clusters in blue, OK, and then a couple outlier points. And the problem is that in, in single linkage clustering, you won't quite measure that. Because the time by the time you sort of um, added in enough edges to you know, connect this cluster all up. And by the time you've, you've added in enough short edges to connect this cluster up, I haven't, I'm, I won't pretend to draw all the edges. By the time you've added in those edges, well, very quickly, this chain forms, right? Bringing this down from, instead of three clusters, you might only measure two clusters, okay? So this is, this is the chaining problem. And, and how this arose was that in single linkage clustering, when we were deciding whether to connect, say, this data point with this cluster, we only looked at the minimum distance between this data point and any point in this entire cluster. We only looked at this distance. Okay. So single linkage clustering, when you're trying to decide whether to merge two clusters, say, this cluster as a single point or this current cluster of many points, you're only looking at the shortest distance between any two points in those clusters. Other versions of hierarchical clustering will instead look at, say, the average distance between this point and all of the other points in that current cluster. Okay. So when you look at um, merging two clusters based on the average distance instead of the shortest distance between those two clusters, uh, you're less, much less susceptible to this chaining phenomenon. So with rules like average linkage, right, you still produce a dendrogram. You just hope that the, the dendrogram is a little bit more stable um, to this chaining phenomenon. And it's, it's almost like you can, you can sort of um, pay less attention to these outlier points and they don't, they don't group together two large but relatively disjoint clusters as quickly as they do in single linkage clustering. All right, that was from a high level, but I'll stop there. Public questions? Thanks so much.